From dawn till dusk, Ford trucks are with you every mile of the way. And we'd like to say thank you, Farm Bureau, for your partnership and support to help make Ford F-Series the best-selling pickup in America once again. The Michigan Wheat Program's Summer Field Day drew over 100 of the state's wheat growers to the Saginaw Valley Research and Extension Center on June 16th for educational sessions on planting methods, weed control, and variety research. In addition, Michigan State University wheat breeder Dr. Eric Olson provided an update on the 2022 wheat crop. It's looking a lot better than expected. Last fall we had some wet conditions and late planting going in. Um, and a really cool spring that slowed development. But as temperatures warmed up around the middle of May and then toward later in the month of May, crop really made a lot of progress. So it's looking quite good. And so we're probably expecting in Southern Michigan late in the first week, probably the second week of July. Um, so harvest is right about on, on schedule. So the concerns last year were with pre-harvest sprouting, especially in the white wheat regions um, where there was rain, rainfall. Extended, well, across the state there was extended rainfall at harvest. Um, and that particularly affects the soft white wheat crop. We haven't seen that yet, so that could come at harvest. It's been pretty, pretty stable and pleasant. Good grain fill weather that we're having now. Cooler nighttime temperatures, so it's been pretty close to ideal the past two weeks. I want our growers to know that they can increase their profitability by choosing the best variety for their operation. We talked about splitting varieties that have different maturities to help different management practices, uh, especially fungicide applications at flowering. That T3 fungicide is very important um, in combination with variety resistance to control head scab and keep that mycotoxin out of our grain. We have our year one and year two breeding trials uh, in the field there, replicated trials, about 400 different genotypes altogether, and then we narrow that down to the best to go into the commercial yield trials every year. And so we have both, in our program, we have both soft red and soft white winter wheat. Um, and our, the major focus, of course, is yield potential for us. But we also work on incorporating fusarium head blight resistance and then resistance to foliar diseases like leaf rust and septoria and stripe rust. Well, I think we have some great research being done on wheat at, at Michigan State University, and I hope that that will uh, translate into some bushels for our growers.